The Miami Dolphins lost in heartbreak fashion to the Las Vegas Raiders on Sunday after a few come-from-behind drives to keep them in the game and force overtime. The Dolphins' defense, however, wasn't able to stop the Raiders from scoring the game-winning field goal and Miami falls to 1-2 on the season. That being said, this game was noticeably better on the offensive front, with the Dolphins able to put together a few drives that resulted in actual points, a considerable difference from last week's debacle. Jacoby Brissett didn't light the world on fire on Sunday, but he did a good job keeping the Dolphins in the game and coming up huge to lead the team down the field for the tying touchdown. On the day, Brissett finished 32 for 49 for 215 yards and a touchdown on the ground, stats courtesy of ESPN. Throughout most of the game, the Dolphins' offense couldn't really find any rhythm. Their first half scores came from an interception return for a touchdown in a 24-yard score after Miami got great field position after a failed fourth-down conversion by Las Vegas. Even though the Dolphins' offense struggled at times in this one, Jacoby Brissett was solid even though they couldn't pick up the win. Early in this one, Miami's receivers struggled to get open making life difficult for Brissett. When he did have an open receiver, he threw the ball with accuracy and zip. He was also able to move around in the pocket and extend plays with his legs that bought valuable time for plays to develop. In the second half, Brissett still looked consistent, but still couldn't get anything done until the fourth quarter. Brissett was able to lead the Dolphins down the field twice, most importantly on a beautifully played final drive to tie the game. On that drive specifically, Brissett was throwing the ball with power on a bunch of curl routes that just broke the Raiders' defense down. He played amazingly on this last drive, doing everything necessary to put the Dolphins into position to win the game. In overtime, it was more of the same and Brissett gave his receivers a few opportunities to come down with some big catches. Those receivers, however, weren't able to make those grabs and Miami defense faltered at the end resulting in the loss. This was a much better offensive showing for the Dolphins after a putrid week. Brissett, who looked better than the numbers indicated against Buffalo last week looked like a quality backup who can lead the team to wins while starter Tua Tungavailoa recovers from his rib injury. The offense still had its struggles, but Brissett demonstrated great arm strength and quality accuracy throughout this one earning him a pretty good score in this week's review. Week 3 QB Grade, B.